Good afternoon guys, we are in the desert, the beautiful desert of Arizona. Just back on the trails here, enjoying the beautiful weather and the scenery. We're going to put into a camp shortly and uh, cook up a meal. We've got some ideas for another beautiful open fire meal. But um, a couple of things. One, tomorrow we've got to head into the big city of Phoenix. It's a couple hours drive from where we are now. Um, our water heater in the new truck, it's an aqua hot. It's brand new. It's and it for some reason something went on it. So that's a fairly rare occurrence, but um, we reached out to the service team at Ross Monster and Phil was on it like that. He's already found a service place. He's already shipped, you know, next day he shipped uh, spare parts to the service guy. And uh, so we're just gonna go down there and get that fixed. So um, Ross Monster, your, your service is incredible. We really appreciate that. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do that tomorrow and uh, the boys will be out exploring on their bikes, I believe. And then we're packing up and heading westward. We're gonna head to Southern California and meet up with some friends that you might know. Um, Marco and his wife are gonna be there. His daughter, uh, Paula, and her husband, they just got married uh, last week or the week before. So the newlyweds are gonna be there, Paula and David and then Brad and Regina from Trail Recon. And they're gonna show us some places we have never been in Southern California in the desert, so we're really excited about that. But let's get this week's video started by heading into the hills here in Southern Arizona. So a lot of you have been asking us about the new truck and how we like it and so on. And I think you can see from the videos how much we enjoy this truck, but I don't think I can express how awesome this thing has been for us. Um, it is truly a game changer. We live in comfort back there. You've seen Carol preparing her simple meals back there. Um, super comfortable sleeping in that uh, full queen size bed we have dual heaters in there so we've had some cool mornings not nothing too cold um, but you know below freezing and we're toasty warm back there with our Wabasso heater and the aqua hot and we have that redundant backup system just in case one goes down and uh, the aqua hot actually went down but the Wabasso kicked in and kept us nice and toasty warm um, just the 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 absolute luxury of having a truck has been amazing. And then the fact that it can go off-road so far anywhere where we've taken the Jeep, um, and the boys are just ahead of us in the Jeep now on a fairly, you know, decent desert trail. And we just go through it with ease with this truck. So uh, we're gonna be doing a walk around video fairly soon now that we've had it for more than a month. And now that we've had it in the back country and we've lived out of it, we feel like, uh, we are in a position now to tell you, you know, all about it, what we like, if there's anything that we would change, etc., etc. So stay tuned for a walk around video coming soon of our new Ross Monster Baja truck.
have this beautiful chuck roast that I'm going to be putting in my cast iron and alongside it I'm going to have some sweet potatoes and onion and some beets um, thrown into the coals. I think it will be really really delicious. I'm going to start by just cutting up the chuck roast in kind of small probably four by four pieces so it can cook faster and it can be plated a lot easier. So I have a mesquite cold smoked peppercorn and it is just delicious. The flavor that comes off of here and that it gives the meats or whatever you're cooking. It is our family's favorite. Smell the, the peppers. Just, oh, the mesquite. It takes you right back to Texas. Just put a little bit of olive oil on the meat just so it has a little bit of a binder. Another fun part. Okay, I'm going to go out and sear these up in the Dutch oven. And one of you mentioned about seasoning with salt after you sear it. So I'm going to try that out and see how it turns out. I was at my sister Beth's house. Um, she was kind enough to give us some um, beef broth and vegetable broth. Uh, she's quite the homesteader, so this is really, really neat to be able to use a taste of home. Wow, it's on there. <laughs> Beth! I'm gonna have to get an opener. I'm gonna let that sit and then add some onions to it. So I found my tongs. I borrowed these from the boys kitchen in the Jeep. We got this really cozy marshmallow kit when Dan rented his um, cabin out at the coast, if you guys remember that. So we found it and we're going to roast up some marshmallows and Dan is nice enough to um, get me a nice stick and make one for me. It'll be perfect with my tea while we're waiting for dinner.
Oh, reminds me of my childhood. Reminds me of my adulthood too. Tastes like my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And my adulthood. <laughs> I get the first try. Wow. Now we're gonna get the veg off. Great sleep last night after an incredible meal that was so good that chuck roast over the fire um, but today we're doing what we try to avoid as much as possible we are heading into the city to get um, like i said yesterday to get that aqua hot um, replaced and uh, it's a warranty job it's it's a brand new brand new piece of equipment and typically they're pretty reliable those the aqua hots but uh this one must have been made on a Friday or something. It was a bit of a lemon. It, uh, what we use that for, it's a dual heater. It heats the water so we can have hot showers and do uh, dishes, but it also is a cabin heater for the back of the, uh, the truck. So it's a pretty important piece of equipment. So yeah, let's get into the big town. parked out here in front of the Walmart this is the address the service guy gave me in town to meet um, I guess it's as good as any place while we're waiting Carol's gone in there to uh, shop at Walmart because we've been out in the uh, backcountry quite a bit here we uh, don't often get a chance to go to a big store like a Walmart where the prices are a lot more reasonable we we're going through these little towns where things uh, obviously like groceries are quite inflated so um, yeah, we'll take full advantage of the opportunity to shop at the Walmart here and stock up for our next journey. Alright, so in the background there, um, the service guy's working away replacing the heat exchanger. It's uh, quite easily accessible, so he's, he's under there just taking the old one off, putting the new one on. Shouldn't take too long and we'll be back on the road. Alright, we are back on the road. Everything's fixed up and working great. Carol's done shopping, so time to head back to well actually we're gonna stop at a place called desert rat desert rats I think and they have um, Jeep and truck accessories we're just looking for some straps to hold a shovel and pickaxe to the molly panel on the back and hopefully they have something there and then we're heading back to the desert almost got the last of these quick fists on here we're just mounting four of them to be able to put the pickaxe and the shovel on the back of the truck just in case we need to do a recovery either in sand or kind of trail build a little to get get the truck out of a bad situation. We'll see how well these do. Um, with the Ross Monsters, these big uh, kind of molly style aluminum or steel panels are put on the back and you can mount a lot of things. They put on some rotopacks for us as well as these um, big storage things. And they do a bunch of different configurations of these storage containers, but we knew Maybe one day we'd either have a bike hitch on the back for our motorcycles or our mountain bikes. 
where we'd be putting a ton of tools and other things. We kind of left this open and we're going to see how this configuration does for us. But yeah, we already got the pickaxe up in the spot that we want it. So we're just figuring out where the shovel will go. And we think we found the right spot for it. Took a minute to figure out this top one just because of the bend in this shovel. But, yeah. Good morning, guys. We are it's heading nice. west towards uh, Southern California. We're heading to a place called Akatia, and uh, <clears throat> that's about three hours drive from where we are here in Arizona. And uh, we're going to meet up with some friends. Stay tuned. Did you just do a Jeep wave? I did. <laughs> When Jeeps go by, I am tempted to wave and I catch myself all the time. <laughs> the boys are behind us in the uh, in the Jeep, so maybe people are waving at them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just wave at everybody. It's been like how many years of driving a Jeep, though? I know. You get... Uh, yeah. It feels weird. You get into a different vehicle and you're like, I feel rude not waving to all the Jeeps. And in this town, my goodness, there is a lot of Jeeps and side-by-sides all over the road. I like it, we should explore it. Yeah, this is uh, Quartzsite, Arizona. This is crazy. Look how many people are camped. Boom duck. Wow. On both sides of the road. Wow, that's <laughs> unbelievable. And all the people coming in. So we just drove through Quartzsite and uh, I guess we didn't realize, but there's a huge RV show going on right now. And I don't know if it's like this all winter long. I think it is, but there, this BLM land just outside of town is wall to wall boondockers, RVs, and all kinds of different vehicles. Now we're a couple miles out of town. It's starting to thin out a bit, but uh, that was pretty, pretty neat to see. There's a huge um, population surge in the winter. up with fuel at the last gas station before leaving Arizona we now turn in under the freeway here and we'll be in California but last time we we're here the fuel difference was quite large I think it, I will we'll take a look when we see a fuel station how much here it was uh, what was it three bucks and 29 cents a gallon uh, we'll let you know what it is in California We're driving along the border of Mexico. We're as far south as you can get in the States. Literally a couple hundred feet and you're in Mexico. And we just passed the big dune area outside of Yuma. We might come back and camp in there. So good thing we filled up because as soon as we got, we just drove by a fuel station and uh, fuel for regular is $4.99. So five bucks instead of $3.29. It's quite a difference. All right, we're in uh, Akatia, California. We're just heading back off the freeway here into the desert. We've found a couple spots on iOverlander that we're going to check out. And uh, we're just spending the night tonight. And then we're coming back. We're meeting with uh, Brad and Marco and a crew tomorrow morning at the Chevron here.
how many years have we had these? Eight years ago we bought those. Crazy. Uh, are you gonna back up onto them? Maybe go forward. Forward? I'm really, really looking forward to spending some time with everyone tomorrow. I think it's going to be a fun trip. Um, some couples coming along, which is going to be super nice. Um, girl time! <laughs> I've been missing Caroline. It's been fun with the boys and Peter, of course, but to be around some other um, women, girls, friends, will be super special and I look forward to that tomorrow. So I think this evening I'm going to be making a really simple noodle dish. Um, I don't even know if we're that hungry, so we'll see. And then we, I think the boys went out and made a fire. Yeah, let's go take a look at that fire. Once you have one of your own, yeah, you should put mine up there. Where your one two goes? Thank you, mother. Now Pete is talking to Caroline. Mm Ravioli is one of my favorites. Good morning from outside of Akatia, California, in the beautiful desert here. Um, we had a very quiet and peaceful night and uh, just up having a coffee this morning. It's about um, 12 degrees Celsius or 50, 51 uh, Fahrenheit. So beautiful, beautiful morning. All right guys, hope you enjoyed that video. We are now heading into the desert with Marco and Brad and we are going to bring that video to you next week. Stay tuned. Big adventures ahead.